Hey everybody, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I've got a really cool project behind me that I want to tell you about. Uh, we've worked together very closely with Eric Rouser and Rebecca Rouser from Rouser Design. They're the architects on this project. And we're doing something I've never done before. And in fact, maybe one of the first houses in Austin, Texas to utilize Joe Lestiebrook's perfect wall concept. The idea on, the, on this house is that Basically, this wall system could be used anywhere in America. This same house could be built with the same methods in, in Alaska or in uh, North Carolina or Austin, Texas, where we are here today, and it would perform amazingly well. So what you're seeing behind me is the framed house. This is a rather small house, about 1,400 square feet. We've wrapped the entire house with a peel and stick membrane. Uh, we're using Carlisle's CCW 705 weatherization system here. So that's that blue peel and stick you see on all the walls there. And the roof uh, has Carlisle's uh, WIP 300HT membrane. You've seen that in a lot of my videos. We've used a lot of both of these products, but I've never done that for a whole house weatherization system. The concept on this house is that this, this house will actually have no inside insulation. All the insulation is gonna be outside of this CCW705. So we've got all exterior rigid foam on this house. We're using Carlisle's um, poly iso that's foil faced. And we're actually gonna have four inches on the walls and six inches on the roof deck. And then no insulation on the inside. So basically the framing on this house would be treated the same way as you would treat a piano in your house. A piano is gonna be always wanna be kept in a conditioned space with a humidity controlled environment and the framing on this house will be the same. We've done our total water, air, and vapor barrier on the outside. We put almost all our thermal control on the outside. This really is a perfect house. And, and Lestiebrick says that this house really should last uh, in the generations. This should really be, a, originally he called it the 500 year wall. Um, so this is really an amazing way to build. Let's come a little bit closer and we'll show you how we ran this CCW 705. On the outside of the sheathing on this house, uh, we ran a primer. Carlisle has a primer system that we, uh, that we rolled on. And then we've actually run the CCW705 vertically. You can see we've run it in about 10 foot lifts uh, just for staging. Ideally, if we were able to run it all the way up, that'd be great, but didn't quite work out with scaffolding reasons for us. And then as we run it vertically, we use their termination caulk on all the seams. Uh, and then the beauty of that termination caulk on those seams is it's gonna give us a little bit of a drainage plane behind that rigid foam. So this is a one inch piece of that rigid foam. We're gonna have four inches on these walls, six inches on the roof. And again, this is a really interesting membrane because it's gonna give some self healing abilities when we screw through this or nail through this. And with that drainage plane back there, it's really gonna be a bulletproof system. I've got another video that we'll uh, release shortly on how to install a window with this system. Um, this is an Anderson 100 window we're using on this house, and Carlisle has some great products uh, to go with uh, their window install to flash the uh, sills and of course the heads. So stay tuned for a future video on that, but in general, it's gonna be a really fun house and you're gonna see some more videos uh, from me on this in the future. Thanks for joining me everybody, we'll see you next time.